So hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and we are currently learning ultimate python course from beginner to advanced. So if you are a complete beginner or want to improve your skills in python then this course is for everyone. And the best part of this course is after each topic we are making some great projects and we are practicing some interviews questions also. So if you want to master python then this is the perfect playlist for you. You can visit this playlist and you will get its link in description box. So the best part of this playlist is after each topic we are making some great projects and we are practicing some interviews question also you can see this this is the contact management system project and after each topic we are making some projects okay here also this is the birthday counter project here in this tutorial here in loops also we are making a project in this tutorial conditional statement also we are making a mini project this is a python password validation project this is the game which we are making and in this string tutorial also uh, we are making a project so please watch each and every tutorial from beginning because each and every lecture is connected to each other so you will get uh, this playlist link in the description box you can check out so now without wasting any further time let's continue our python series so now our next topic is we will create a project and that is atm project using function atm system we want to create okay so what are the features we have to give in our ATM system and that is first obviously a uh, user can check the balance total balance second is withdraw if user want to withdraw the money and the third is if user want to deposit the money right so let's see and we will create this so for that first we have to create a ATM system that means first function will be ATM okay so that uh, our code data will call that function and it will ask the user what you want to do either you want to withdraw money or you want to check your balance or you want to deposit money right so for that we will create a def function that is atm then parenthesis then colon obviously and then uh, we are creating a variable and that is balance here we are storing our uh, means user total balance so that is if user bank account have balance that is 10,000 rupees okay this is the starting balance right if user withdraw then this balance will be decrease if user deposit then this balance will be increase right so this is the total balance of the user then print so this is not the logic this is the welcome message uh, whenever we go to a bank or an ATM there is written a welcome to this bank or welcome uh, like that only we are writing here welcome to the ATM okay now we have written this and after that we will create a we will run a loop and that is while loop okay while loop means and we are giving the condition if it is true yes if it's true then you print don't worry watch till the end you will understand each and everything very clearly okay we are printing this choose an option yes we want to give some of the options to user that is you tell the atm what you want to do you want to check the balance or withdraw or deposit choose option right now the next is we are giving the choices to the user and that is so now we will give the user that will be the choice and the first is if you want to check balance then you can select one for checking the balance select one okay if user in terminal write one then it will check the balance right if you want to withdraw okay then you select two for the withdraw withdraw money you select two and if you want to deposit money you select three right you select three and if you want to exit right if you want to exit this ATM system then you can choose four right now we have written our complete this welcome message for the user so that uh, user can select between these numbers 1 2 3 4 
सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ वेरिएबल इन दैट एज चॉइस सो दैट यूजर कैन गिव द इनपुट विच नंबर ही और शी वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट वन टू थ्री फोर राइट फॉर दैट फॉर द इनपुट एंटर योर चॉइस सो हियर यूजर विल गिव द चॉइस एंटर योर चॉइस राइट बिटवीन वन टू फोर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट राइट एंड हियर इक्वल टू शुड कम yes now it's correct so now we have to write the logic for these check balance also for the withdraw also and for the deposit also right so now we will create function for these so for creating the function we have to first first we will create for the check balance so for that def check balance i am giving its name okay then inside this parenthesis uh, i am passing a parameter and that is balance and here while calling the function whatever balance we will give it will store in this okay and what is the balance you tell me starting 10000 rupees is the balance right now colon and after that we will print this so for the print inside parenthesis if string then simple text your Current balance is your current balances, and after that, I am writing rupee. Okay, and then inside this curly braces, you have to write the balance parameter. And while calling this function, whatever balance will be there, this will store in this, and it will print with this simple text. Okay. So yes, we have created the logic for this also check balance. Now the next function is withdraw. So for the withdraw, I am giving its name withdraw only. Okay, and now I am passing the two parameters here. First is the balance, and the second is the amount. Why two parameters? Obviously, if you want to withdraw the money, for example, if you want to withdraw twenty thousand rupees, and your current balance is only ten thousand rupees, how will you withdraw that? It will show insufficient amount, right? so for that our coordinator can check uh, whatever amount you want to withdraw that amount should be there in your bank account so for that i am uh, passing two parameters first will be the balance your total balance in your bank account and the second is the amount which you want to withdraw okay so for that i am writing here balance and withdraw okay or i am giving its name not withdraw amount okay whatever amount you want to withdraw so i'm giving its name amount after that i have to write the condition and the first condition is if amount is greater than balance okay then it will show insufficient balance i have already told you so for that it will show insufficient sorry insufficient balance yes we have written this okay after that if then the else uh, part will come if your uh, if your amount is greater than balance then it will show insufficient and in else part it is sufficient you can withdraw right so in the else part we will write balance equals to balance minus amount yes so that it will update this balance for example i'll give you example uh, there is 10000 rupees in your bank account and if you are withdrawing 2000 rupees so after that uh, your atm should know na 8000 is remaining so for that only i am writing here it will update this balance after 2000 rupees you withdraw uh, your current balance will be 8000 rupees so balance minus the amount which you are withdrawing okay after that print if then withdraw successful withdraw successful okay and your new balances and and new balances so it will uh, update that balance so i am directly uh, uh, passing this parameter that is balance 
ओके विड्रॉ so we have written a logic for the withdraw also and the next is deposit so for the deposit i am creating a function and that is def and i am giving its name deposit for that i am also passing two parameters that is balance and the amount obviously if you want to deposit 10000 rupees and previously also 10000 was there so it will add in that so obviously you have to update that so for the balance and amount whatever amount you want to deposit so the two parameters i am passing here after that first we were withdrawing so it will subtract the amount from the balance now we are depositing so it will add in your balance right so balance equals to balance plus amount whatever you are depositing right after that you print that Current balance also and the amount you are uh, depositing. Okay, or only current balance. Okay, so print f string deposit successful and your new and new balances. Your new balance is rupee. and balance parameter i am passing whatever para, uh, whatever balance will be there currently it will update here okay so it will print that so now we will return from here okay return balance so the final amount it will return yes so we have return also now we will write here and what we will write we will write the choices for that see here for example if user select one and uh, uh, he or she want to check the balance so we have to write now you call this function we have written the function but currently our code editor does not know which function to call for what so for that we have to write for the check balance you call this function for the withdraw you call this function for the deposit you call this function okay so for that i am writing here we have given the choice for the user so if user select one okay so we are writing the condition if user select one then we have to call that function so for that i am writing here conditions so if user choice is equals to equals to one then you do one thing you call that function which function check balance because a user want to check the balance that's why and here i am passing the parameter and that is balance okay now the next is in elif we will write here that is if user choice is equals to equals to 2 then user want to withdraw money then you call that function okay but before calling that function we have to take the input also from the user why because user will give the input na uh, how much money uh, he or she want to withdraw okay and for the deposit also we have to take the input from the user how much money a user want to deposit right so for that i am writing here amount what amount user want to withdraw and float value i am giving here not int okay and input and here enter amount to withdraw okay you can write here rupee also as you wish if you want to you can write rupee or rupee symbol also you can use it was showing error because of this and here a colon will come yes why showing uh, error it is showing error because of this space right now it's correct and after that we have to create a variable where your answer will be stored after calling that function withdraw and here i am passing the two parameters and that is balance and the amount okay so now the next is for the three uh, this only i will copy paste because same logic will be there for the three 
I am writing here 3 and this is for the deposit yes and we will call this function yes we have written this also now for the last condition that is if user selects 4 then he or she can exit Alex, if choice is equals to equals to 4 then print exit and then break why break i have already taught you in previous tutorials in if a statement with this conditional statements and all okay you can watch that tutorial you will get its link in description box now break okay and we can also write here goodbye as you wish okay and in s part we will write if user does not select 1 2 3 4 if user select 10 so it will show that invalid choice so for that i am writing here else colon then print invalid invalid choice okay now we have written our complete code now i will just call this function which function the main function this atm okay and the remaining function we have already called this withdraw also check balance also right deposit also so that's why only main function atm parenthesis okay now i will run this code and let's see what output will come it's showing welcome to atm okay check balance uh which choice you want to select so if i want to check the balance okay so i will select one see here it's showing ten thousand because initially we have stored here ten thousand rupees see here that's why showing ten thousand rupees okay now if i want to uh, deposit money so i will select three i want to deposit two thousand rupees See here, initially it was 10,000, then I deposit 2,000, now it's showing 12,000 rupees. Yes, it's correct. Means it's showing correct output. Now, if I want to withdraw money, okay, so I will select 2. Now, I want to withdraw 2,000 rupees or 5,000 rupees, okay. See here, initially it was 10,000, then it was 12,000 and now I... A withdraw 5000 so remaining is 7000 rupees right if i want to exit then i will write 4 see here exit goodbye okay so i hope you understood uh, how to create project while using functions okay so now we will jump to our next project okay. and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share with your friends and family so that they can improve their coding skills and learn python with great projects and practice questions and comment below how you like it thank you so much for watching see you in the next video